and the New York families and Meyer Lansky said, we'll take the East and the Midwest can have Las Vegas. So Chicago, Kansas City, and Milwaukee really get themselves into Las Vegas more deeply than they had been in the past. During the years prior to the Villa Capri intercept, Alan Glick, a small-time California real estate developer, set his sights on Las Vegas. He soon learns that the Central States Teamsters Pension Fund will finance Las Vegas casinos, but he has to make the right mob connections. It was like we walked immediately into the middle of a story. It wasn't, there was no waiting, good or not. They talked about genius, and he turned out to be Alan Glick, the, the fellow who had obtained a $62 million loan uh, to become a big shot in Las Vegas, uh, but at the same time, uh, a mob puppet. 